Secretary Blinken assured me that the administration is working day and night to remove these bottlenecks. Give us the tools and we'll finish the job a lot faster. Give us the tools and we'll finish the job a lot faster. Secretary Blinken was recently here in Israel, we had a candid conversation. I said I deeply appreciated the support the U.S. has given Israel from the beginning of the war. But I also said something else. I said it's inconceivable that in the past few months, the administration has been withholding weapons and ammunitions to Israel. Israel, America's closest ally, fighting for its life, fighting against Iran and our other common enemies. Secretary Blinken assured me that the administration is working day and night to remove these bottlenecks. I certainly hope that's the case. It should be the case. During World War II, Churchill told the United States, give us the tools, we'll do the job. And I say, give us the tools and we'll finish the job a lot faster. It's very important to remember that our security relationship with Israel goes well beyond Gaza. Uh, Israel is facing a multiplicity of threats and challenges, including uh, in the north from Hezbollah, from Iran, from the Houthis in the, in the Red Sea, uh, from various um, groups that are aligned against Israel and in many cases uh, beholden to, uh, to Iran. So the President has been very clear. Uh, from day one, that he will do everything he can to make sure that Israel has what it needs to effectively defend itself against these threats. And a big part of that as well is making sure that in providing that assistance to, to Israel, it has a strong deterrent, which is the best way to avoid more conflict, to avoid more war, to avoid what we're already seeing in Gaza spreading to other, uh, other areas, to other fronts. That's been one of our objectives uh, from day one. So we're committed to that. Uh, we, as you know, are continuing to review one shipment uh, that President Biden uh, has talked about uh, with regard to 2,000-pound bombs because of our concerns about their use in a densely populated area like Rafa. That remains other, uh, under review. Um, but everything else is moving as it normally would move. And again, with the perspective of making sure that Israel has what it needs to defend itself against this multiplicity of challenges. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to like our videos and hit the bell icon to stay updated with the latest.